The Aman from Camp Prison is an all-male correctional facility with a capacity of 250 inmates. The prison currently has 197 inmates and authorities are focusing on ways to develop their skills even as they go through the correctional process. As a result, prison authorities started this building to be used as a vocational center to train inmates. It's a vocational uh, center we are trying to set up so that inmates which come inside our custody before they come out, uh, they would have acquired some skills uh, such as tailoring, uh, uh, shoe making, uh, computer uh, literacy, and even adult education. Uh, we've seen that a lot of them come here because they were not um, uh, employable. That made them to uh, go into crime. So, and when you can, we just warehouse them and they go on discharge without learning anything. So our, we are focusing on them acquiring some skills. Inmates here are into crop and animal farming and the food harvested is used to feed them while the surplus is sent to other prisons to support other inmates. Authorities believe a vocational center to train inmates will be beneficial to the process of transforming inmates. Total project, if you are considering the total project, is about 50% complete because uh, uh, erecting a building and roofing is less than half the, the, the cost. What is left is more than what has been achieved. So uh, it's about 50% This soliciting for support individuals, churches, or any organization that can support us. Uh -huh. If we get any form of support, we are not interested in the uh, money per se, but materials. Uh -huh. uh, because at times, people are not convinced that you use the money for the purpose it has been donated. But we are saying, come with the materials for us. We have the men who will work with the materials. The Ashanti Regional Chapter of the Federation of Muslim Women's Association in Ghana, FOMWAG, reached out to the prison with food and other medical supplies and appealed for help to complete the stalled vocational center. We have diverse passions as individuals, okay? So they thought of um, putting up this building to construct a rehabilitation center or a vocational center where people who want to learn sewing, who want to learn um, IT skills, basic IT skills, baking, whatever, they can learn all these days. And, and as we can see, upon interacting with him, he even mentioned that they are 50% completed and the structure is there. And we can also, so I'd like to, from WAG Ashanti, Federation of Muslim Women's Association in Ashanti region, we will look into it, how best we can help them. But uh, by this, we are also inviting the general public to also come to their head. Whatever little thing now, they need roofing, they need ceiling, they need plastering, whatever they can also do to help. Because this is the little we can do, giving back to the community. The gesture was also extended to the Kumasi Central Prisons. Authorities here called for an increase in feeding grants for inmates. The challenges of you know, the feeding rate, as we've been saying, it is one city, 80 persons. It is woefully inadequate. So we hope and pray that it could be upwardly adjusted. And also we need medication. Most of them fall sick and then we have to buy drugs for them. There was an instance where a drug came in here that cost more than 30, uh, 3,000, that is 30 million old Ghana cities. So these are some of the things that we are appealing for support. Prison authorities in the Ashanti region say they are committed to developing the talent and skills of inmates even as they go through the correctional process. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Ashanti Region.